Hello, I got my copy of Home Designer Pro 2019 open and I drew a little plan, a little simple one, excuse me. And uh, <clears throat> I thought I'd show you some things about what you can do. Now, the best way to get a precursor of how something's gonna print is with this tool right here, over in the right hand toolbar. I'm, tool tips apparently on my computer are turned off, but that's called show line weight. Let's see if I can find it under tools. Uh, I never use get that command over here, but I'm sure it's here. Plant views, no. Maybe it's view. You can turn the color on and off, the reference gr grid on and off. There it is, line weights. See, there's what the icon looks like, and, th and this says what it is. And when you click on that, you get a preview of how it's actually going to print. Let me zoom in, and, t and it's easier to see zoomed in a bit. I'm going to turn line weight, show line weight off. See how that got a lot. See how these lines here are really dark with show line weight on, and the roof lines are darker. So if you don't like how, if this is too dark, what can you do about it? Well, you go up and you use a tool called display options, tools, display options. And this controls the visual, what you see and what you, in plan view, it controls what you see visually in plan view. And I'm gonna just click and select something and hit the W key on my keyboard. And we'll go down to walls normal. See in the line weight there, see this, there's a weight column. And the weight is the relative lightness and darkness in a, in a number value that controls that. See, and these black lines right here are 35. Well, let's change them to uh, 150. I need to type it in down here. 150, oh, quite a bit darker. Then we click OK. Now they're real dark and big, big and fat and ugly. But that's a, kind of the, the point of this video is to show you where that's controlled and what you can do about it. So if 35 was a little bit too dark, let's just select that again. We'll change that to uh, 25. And it's still, it's still, and it, it, you really need to zoom in to kind of see some of these things. Here's the, the roof line. Again, I'm going to hit the uh, show line weight is off, show line weight is on. So if you want to make your windows darker, you would go to display options and go to the windows layer and see they're set to 18. So if you want them darker, you raise the value here. Now there's no sign science that I know of to set this incrementally, I, I would recommend, as I have done, is just by trial and error, uh, figure out what, what I like and what I don't like. But we shall go here to walls normal, <clears throat> and this, this may suit your purposes better. Now let's go to the roof layer, hit the R key, and there's roof planes, and they're set to 25. So I'm gonna set change that value to uh, 20 and when I click OK you'll see them get that much less fat and less dark <coughs> excuse me so that's how the cow eats the cabbage on that stuff and everything everything I mean if you're a perfectionist everything's here that you can tweak it to your heart's desire see a lot of this stuff is pretty pretty heavy, like cabinets and so forth. Maybe you don't like that. Well, you can change it if you wish. And the way to change it so you don't have to do it the, the same way each time would be to go over here and go to File, Open Plan, not New Plan, but Open Plan, and then go over to My Documents and find Home Designer Pro, Yeah, okay, 
I've got some trial versions on here. Here's Home Designer Pro 2019. And you would go over here to uh, templates. Every time you create a new plan uh, using imperial values, you use, you're opening a copy of this plan right here. So you can open it directly <clears throat> and edit it. Uh, now, I wouldn't recommend putting any objects in it. If you put a wall in there or a cabinet, just do that temporarily before you save and, and close the plan, take those objects out. But you can reset the uh, uh, line weight values of, of objects and, uh, and lots of other things that you may or may not like. You can change them in this plan, and then every time you go new plan, it'll open a copy of this. And uh, it's kind of kind of handy. If you use Home Designer a lot, then that's what I would recommend. I use Cheap Architect Premier and Home Designer software every day, so it's always right in my face. Well, I hope this video helps you. I, I know it addresses your question, <clears throat> and perhaps it'll help others as well. Thank you. Good day.